loaded in. It looks so sick to see all the cases and everything out for the first time in like years. I think 2019 homecoming season in like August or whatever was the last time I've seen all these road cases and everything actually out and about in one area. So we have a twinkle light tunnel out there. We're just gonna put twinkle lights on pipe and drape poles and things and then we're gonna do pipe and drape along here so that we block it out from the parking lot and then we got four totems one here one here two taller ones string lighting connecting to those roof in the center all that good stuff so me and drake are gonna work on this stuff and marcellus and then we're gonna work on that stuff All right, so uh, the time lapse ended, but uh, the twinkle light tunnel is complete. Nine and a half feet tall, twinkle light tunnel. Cool, so now me and Drake are gonna work on pipe and draping all of this uh, so that it's hidden from the parking lot so people can't see in. And uh, the boys over here have been working hard. Uh, well, honestly, based on what me and Drake did, they're hardly working, so. Yellow goes and stuff? Y'all hardly working? Like, you, you didn't even do anything. Bro, what are you talking about? You have been over there playing with lights like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> we got that whole thing up, and all they did was just put some peak speakers on a pole, and that's it. Pretty much. <laughs> fully set up ready to go for the prom other than hanging TVs and uh, so the way it's working out right now with the weather we knew it was gonna be a cloudy day and uh, there was gonna be a chance of rain but uh, the weather basically shows that tonight no chance of rain at all during the setup time like right now there's like a little bit of you can feel some drops going right now as you can see the only thing that really needs to be covered is covered right now if a tarp these dudes are making fun of me over here <laughs> But we covered up my table, so that's all covered. We got the little battery powered speaker up there that we were jamming to. But the whole setup is done. I'm gonna wait to give you guys a setup tour. As you can see, a lot going on. Pipe and drapes been blowing all in the wind, but it's all secured down. We tied them basically and put some weights on them. Good to go. The twinkle lights, we'll leave those on. They're ready to go. We're all set up. I'm sorry I didn't film much of the setup because camera batteries have been dying left and right. Anyways, we good. I'm gonna let Marcellus film his vlog now. If you guys wanna check out the actual dance footage, I'm not gonna really be filming any of it, but all of it's gonna be on his channel. So I'm going okay. hard this year. So the real We're question, it up. the real question, this year. We, the real we question. Post it every week. I was about to say the real question. We're when when I post this week. vlog, this is gonna be this posted. Is, this is being posted next week. Oh, next week, you heard it. We'll catch back when we get back to the gigs, like four o'clock and we'll be, it's like seven to 10. Yeah, so we'll see you later. So starting out front here, you can see um, we have some wind blowing, so that's why they're gonna be like that. Um, but it's more of just a block to try and keep people from seeing in. But there's roughly 60-ish feet, 70-ish feet of pipe and drape here. And then we have the twinkle light tunnel. So this is uh, about a 30 foot on one side and 20 foot on the other side, but it's like a illusion. This is gonna look way cooler later on walking in with the twinkle light tunnel. Little check-in desk here. And then we come into the main area. So we got four totems in total. We got the small ones out here, up lights underneath them. And we got, uh, I don't even know what this span is, probably about 30, 40 feet of twinkle lights to either side on dimmers so we can dim them. And what's cool about these lights are, I found these. These are shatterproof LEDs. That's, that's plastic. So it makes life easier. And the best part about them is they're lighter than the glass ones. So it makes them way easier to hang. Now moving into the main rig, we got Gabe doing a TikTok dance for some reason. We got the, the dope awesome main booth with Marcellus Doe's laptop, DJing it up tonight with the Rain 12s and the S9. Man, that crap's dusty. Yeah, it is. Whew. PA is my traditional wedding PA. We're only looking at like 80-ish kids here today, nothing crazy, so. Pyrex 715 XLF subs, 712 of tops. We got the haze generator down here for our movers. We're rocking four InnoSpot Pros, two atop of each one of these. These are 10 foot or three meter totems. One over there, same exact thing. These are our six and a half ones. And what we did was we took a pipe and drape pole and uh, fastened it to the actual truss on the inside so we could get up high enough to run our string lighting. 60 inch, well, correction, 58 inch plasma screen TVs from Samsung. We're just running a little slideshow that the kids made 
of them, one on either side, pretty dope. I'll show you the back rack here in a second. Got a fan, keep Marcellus cool, although I don't think we're really gonna need it, it's pretty chilly out. But around the perimeter, there are 24 of our uh, Chinese bow lighting hex up lights. They're all around here. They're gonna light this place up real nice. And before we go in the back, we got Graham over here with the photo booth. Coming in the back though, this, this brick wall is so clutch. Back here we have the back rack obviously with all of our goodies, the Yamaha 12, the DBX drive rack, the microphones. We got all of our laptops set up, which really we only need this one, but Show Express running for all the controls. Right here we have our media player which is running to an HDMI splitter that's down there, which runs to our two TVs. This is a little slideshow playing, very simple. Back here, we got all the cases loaded up, but it's really hidden from everything else, which is nice. That's it, guys. That's the setup. Remember, Marcellus is filming most of this. It's gonna be on his gig log, so. down right now so I kind of wanted to shoot some shots uh, in the dark because you can see behind me it looks sick but uh we go over here all right so this is one of two events this week uh, tomorrow we're gonna go do a wedding that's gonna be super exciting obviously I didn't film much of this event uh, normally it's a school dance you don't want to film much in general but this school is a little particular it's a school for kids that need a little extra help if you know what I mean um, so this actually was a really good turnout for what they have. They normally only have 100 kids in their class. They got 40 of them to show up. Um, so next year they're expecting to have even more because uh, they're loving it. They're having a great time. It's not many people that showed up. It's not our traditional 300 person school dance. That's next week. We have 250 kids. It's gonna be insane. Setup turned out awesome though. I love the setup and um, I'm gonna shoot some clips for you guys of the setup. Uh, in the dark, the Twinkle Tunnel looks amazing. So let's see what we got left and then uh, we'll be tearing down. But uh, we're winding down. We only got like 12 minutes left. Eleven eighteen. The uh, dance ended at 10. 11, 18, we about to shut the door. I'm blurry. On the trailer. What up, Gabe? Hey, I made it this time. Made what? On the vlog? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Make sure you go check out my channel, you feel me? Check out the dance portion of the video. Ricky got all the technical Well, actually, I'm just going to continue my vlog tomorrow, so tell them bye. 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 See you guys bye. another time. It's your boy. It's your boy. What's up guys, welcome back to day uh, two of this uh, week. I have all the laptops and iPads getting everything uh, synced up and ready to go for today. And also, I'm on my Vibo, the new Vibo 2.0, which is just sick as hell. I'm going through all the notes that I have for today's wedding. Um, check this out, there's a prep mode now in Vibo. And like you can select your computer so you can sync different computers now. And when you go in, this is the coolest part for me. So if I like go to open dancing and I'm looking through the songs, like, so this is syncing with my library so I can create the playlist off of their playlist. So now when I go into, say here, Electric Boogie, it'll show me when I'm syncing, it'll tell me how good of a result it is that they did that in the last version. Also it gives you all the info and you can play it over here as well. You can go to YouTube, Spotify, all that and see it. But now it syncs in with Serato and it tells me how many times I played it based on the play count in Serato, which is super handy to figure out what songs you need when you have like a lot of versions. So like if I go to NSYNC uh, Bye 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 here, I have all these different versions of NSYNC Bye Bye Bye, but I can see right here, this one I have five plays, this one I have seven plays, this one I have six plays. It's really cool. And then of course, Vibo 2.0 now has a new timeline that it prints out. So I've been printing out all the copies of the timeline. Jesus, how many copies did I print? But anyways, check this out. This is really cool. It's like color coded now. It's like super clean and easy to read. I like it. And there, and I, I did this where I added all these emojis for everything. So you can look through the whole entire timeline. 
super easy. I, I, I love the new, and you got a picture of the couple up there in the corner. Just looks super clean, super professional when you give this to a coordinator. I love it. But anyways, getting all that synced up, making sure the memory cards are good for the camera so that we can film and all that stuff. Um, in here, I, I got to get the cooler, got the batteries charged in. And the guys out here in the garage, or what of the garage I have, are getting all the stuff we were charging last night. The Mauis, the charging rack, or the, the ceremony rack, and all the up lights. All loaded up in the trailer so that we can get on the road. We literally have almost a two hour drive out to this venue today on a Sunday. On a Sunday, and it's gonna go until 10 o'clock tonight. And I'm just gonna say it right now, cut this out, I guess, if it doesn't happen, or if it does, we'll, we'll leave it in. But this one's gonna be lit. The music is lit. They want some EDM, they want some hip hop. I'm excited. And they're really carefree in terms of how we're doing it. And it's just the vendor team we're working with is awesome. The coordinator's been awesome so far. So I'm excited. This venue's legit. I'll see you guys when we jump on the road. So yeah, check it out. Ceremony, dope venue, dope venue. So we'll probably put the speaker like right there. That's a cool little chill area. They got blankets. So they don't have a dance floor. We're going to define a dance floor. All right, what's up? Ceremony is going on. Well, prelude's going on right now. Uh, we're inside. Let me take you for a little tour of what we got set up on the inside. We got this dope string bulb lighting behind me. And this venue, primo. I love this venue. Um, not maybe a summer venue because it's technically outdoors. But uh, for a covered outdoor wedding venue top notch this thing's awesome so obviously it's an old uh, cotton mill that they basically took all the windows out and left the top nice big you know they might actually have a way to cover them but anyways string lighting probably somewhere around 30 feet across on both sides we're up 10 feet on the poles which in the middle it drips down to about nine feet if you guys don't remember these are actually led and plastic so they're shatterproof set today very similar to yesterday got the turntable custom dj booth with the rain 12s and the s9 uh we have up lighting 24 up lights around the whole entire perimeter that we'll turn on later we're rocking the prx7 15 xls with the prx 712 tops totems we forgot the forgot the totem slides but we made it look as clean as we can looks really good ADJ InnoSpot Pros on top. We have our Audio Technica 3000 4th Gens as always for our handheld mics and our lapels, rocking a mic for, for the officiant and for our groom. Back here, running Show Express on the 13 inch Spectre laptop, 14 inches back up, 15 inches running our audio for the ceremony right now. And we're running everything actually out of the main rack. We actually forgot the Yamaha six channel mixer. That's why we had to hook up this situation. So we're running out of the mics into the main rack for the ceremony. And uh, we got an LD Maui 5 Go down there running on battery, running a 50 foot XLR to it. The table's down there as just the way to hide the bags and stuff that we have. We could have broke it down, but we chose not to. Drake's uh, currently mixing all the stuff for the prelude. Leave in the comment section down below a one to 10, how good this tape job is. How how how, how good's the how good's the tape job, guys? How good is it? Place that so you can see what there is to eat. 
Uh, the food trucks won't be here for hours, so don't feel like you gotta get like two, three, four items. You can go back and get as much food as you would like this evening. So, the way we're going to dismiss tables is to be a member from the vendor team coming around to individual tables and assist you. So, you can kindly stay seated until they dismiss you. That way, we can get the same rolling nice and smooth, maybe they want bed in a little dash. So, without further ado, you can drop some tracks and let's enjoy this dinner time. three things this 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 that and that extremely heavy cart with 90 pound base plates on it um, all that needs to get out there we can shut the door on the trailer we can be done our goal is to beat them hour 45 trip heading back on a Sunday I'll see y'all in a little bit hope you guys enjoyed both the gigs crazy one yesterday the one today it was dope it was awesome and um, Kevin Kev any last words good night like comment subscribe see you guys on the next one peace out Ooh.